Hi, this is Josh from DC Cargo Mall, and I want to show you how to install a recessed D-ring. Recessed D-rings are durable tie-down points that are designed to sit flush against the surface. Let me first show you the different options we carry. The PF21 has an assembly brake strength of 5,000 pounds and a working load limit of 1,666 pounds. The PF22 and PF23 both have the same brake strength as the PF21, but are slightly larger by about three quarters of an inch. The difference between these two is that the 22 takes standard bolts and the 23 is designed for carriage bolts. Both of these can be used with the PFP22 backing plate for a super secure installation. The PF24 is our strongest D-ring. It has an assembly brake strength of 6,000 pounds and a working load limit of 2,000 pounds and features a 360 degree swivel. Be aware that all recessed D-rings have a weep hole to drain any fluids. Make sure they stay unobstructed. To install, you're gonna to wanna to cut a hole in the floor big enough to accommodate the size of the pan. Be sure not to cut the hole too big. Using the ring's pan, trace the hole you will want to cut. If you are using the mounting plate, you can use that as a template for the hole. Once the hole is cut out, place the ring in the hole and use to drill the holes for the bolts. After all the holes are drilled, insert the bolts into all four holes. Next, install the plate on the underside of your surface, inserting the bolts through the holes and finishing with washers and nuts. Don't forget to tighten fully. And that's it. Your rings are installed, ready to tie down anything you need. If you do not want to cut a hole through your trailer floor, check out our line of bolt-down D-rings, including the flush mount D-rings that have a slimmer profile.